Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Jones Apollo Binding. Basically, the only thing that changed was it got a new toe strap. I rode this binding at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day that had average to warm temps. You had leftover powder dust, some crust, some chops, some chunder, and perfect hero snow on the corduroy. I rode it on my Telos Mike Ranquit with my K2 Thraxxus boots. When it comes to adjustability, it's pretty straightforward on this binding. You have twist cams on the toe and the heel to lengthen or shorten them. You do have the surf strap so that you can flip it over from surf mode to free ride mode. Basically, softer in surf mode, stiffer in free ride mode. You have your forward lean adjustment, which is just a twist. Pretty easy again, right there. And then the big story with the Jones bindings is that they utilize the now skate tech. They have the bushings. You can swap those out to soft, medium, and hard based on what preference you want. So when it comes to the straps, it's a very minimal design. This is to reduce pinch points in there and any excess material. It also just cradles around the instep better. It relies on the boot to provide all your padding for the heel strap. It works, it locks in, and you have that surf mode and that free ride mode. If you want it a little more surfy, you go with the surf mode. It's just gonna have a little more lateral give to it. And it just doesn't have as much restriction. With free ride mode, a little stiffer, a little more power in there. The toe strap has a nice cutout in it that will fit around just about any boot shape. You don't really have to worry about it. It's gonna lock in whether you got a snub nose, pointy nose, or a round nose boot. It holds you in. The ratchets release well. You got a one finger quick release on the heel. It's a push down release on the toe. They climb, they stay locked in. I never had them slip. I never had any problems with them disengaging. No premature releasing, they work. That's all you can really ask for out of them. When it comes to the high back, it's wider, it's stiffer. This is the stiffest binding that Jones makes. You can just feel that power when you push back into it. It's got that little wing that kind of cups the outside of your back spine of your boots. So when you're steering on a heel side turn, you start to notice it. There is a little bit of natural forward lean in there and you will feel it with this binding's high back just because when you push back into it, it's there. So if your boot doesn't have natural forward lean in it, you're gonna feel it even more abruptly. The forward lean is easy to adjust. You just twist it, do what you want. You can pop it out, flip the little tab piece around if you need to, to dial it in. All right, so let's talk about the flex of this binding. It's stiff. Even when you flip the straps, it's still going to be stiff. It's very rigid in the base plate and the high back. You, you feel that power transmission. This binding is stiff. It's a free ride binding. Let's just go with it on there. So when you drive into the straps, they're still stiff, even in surf mode and then that chassis is super stiff. You pretty much have no lateral play in this binding. It's all lateral drive. So when you're pushing into the outside of the binding and the inside on your back foot when you're driving a car or vice versa, you're gonna feel that power transmission. You really are. The skate tech works. It's gonna give you exceptional edge to edge power transmission. You're gonna just feel that energy going right into the edge and it's going to grip and rip. The overall ride of this binding is powerful and precision based. You wanna be on your toe edge, boom, you feel that skate tech just pushing that power into the toes, the heels kind of rise up. It's taking all of that energy and putting it down. Same thing when you go back on the heel, it's raising the toe up, it's pushing it in there. There is a ton of power in this binding. You will feel that. If you wanna charge, this is a charging binding. Who's this binding for? The powerful all mountain free ride guy that may swap his straps over just to have a little more flex. Honestly, no different than the last time I rode it except for that toe strap, it just grips a little bit better. This is a very powerful binding. It has a ton of power going down into that base plate that really changes your dynamic of how you carve and how you get your edge control. It's a great binding for what it is. I really do like the now skate tech. I like that Jones utilized it. For you free ride guys, this is something you should be looking at if you're charging a little bit harder. Binding recommendations, the Union Atlas Pro, the Ride A10, the Rome Cleaver. This has been my review of the Jones Apollo. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you gonna buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you 
in another video.